with your Doppler 10 weather forecast. Good afternoon. Well, we started our work week with the heat and humidity, which returned after that rain that we had yesterday. Some areas seeing some heavy rain Sunday in southwest portions of Corpus Christi. It was nice to get the rain, and now we've got a lot of moisture left over from that. And we have our big dome of high pressure, which is building back over the state. And we're not the only ones in that heat advisory. Much of the state is, even some heat warnings out toward Midland and up into Oklahoma. Uh, however, there are going to be some changes as a cold front drops in from the north later this week. In the meantime, this is what we're dealing with. These are current temperatures across the state. Oh, it is just sweltering across the entire state. And these are the heat indices right here in the coastal bend. These are really high. I mean, this is dangerous heat here. We're feeling like 116 at Alice. And look at Corpus Christi, 115. We haven't seen heat indices like these in a few weeks now. So certainly uh, something you got to be careful in. And I do expect them very similar again tomorrow. Now, for Fortunately, we get that breeze. Now the breeze has increased and that is helping to pump in that humidity, but it's also helping us cool down a little if you're out in that wind. 22 mile an hour winds in Corpus Christi, 13 at Robstown, and we are going to see those winds topping out in the low 20s tomorrow afternoon again. Right now, Corpus Christi, 97. Ooh, there's that feels like 115 degrees, 22 mile an hour winds, and look how high that dew point is. And again, the next couple of days, you're going to feel it as we are going to see that very humid air stick with us, keeping our nights warm. These are the forecast lows for tonight, dropping only to 80 degrees in Corpus Christi, low 80s coast, upper 70s inland tonight. And then tomorrow, those temperatures climb fast again. I do expect mostly sunny skies tomorrow. After some morning clouds, we'll see plenty of sunshine and that heat index climbing by 2 o'clock, as high as 112 in Corpus Christi. And we'll see those winds picking up in the afternoon tomorrow. These are the forecast highs for the coastal bend on your Tuesday. Yep, way above average. 98 Corpus, 104 George West, 96 Ingleside, a lot like today as we continue with that dome of high pressure aloft and heat indices tomorrow afternoon going over 110. So I bet we're under another heat advisory tomorrow. Wednesday, those might come down just a little bit. And as we go through the week, that trend will continue. They'll start to come down. Meanwhile, in the tropics, we have Tropical Storm Dorian. Dorian is forecast to strengthen over the next 20 24 to 48 hours, and she could become a Category 1 hurricane by the time she brushes Puerto Rico and then moves to the northwest. Right now, she's forecast a week and a little bit before uh, hitting Florida, but certainly something we're going to have to watch for them as we get into Labor Day weekend. Back at home, no tropical systems affecting us in the next five days. Good news there. Our home, our high pressure system, which is over us now, giving us that heat again, that is going to start pulling back to the west again by the weekend, and that'll do a few things. That will bring our temperatures down slightly, and we'll see a chance, we'll start to see a few showers and thunderstorms, particularly by Wednesday afternoon, as a weak front settles into central Texas, we might actually get a spot shower or thunderstorm. Here's your seven day forecast then. You can see that the temperatures are way above average the next couple of days. But by Thursday, there's the change. They come down a little bit. It's not going to be drastic, but we will see an improvement. I am watching for a possible tropical wave that could bring better rain chances by Labor Day. I will talk more about that in my next weathercast after 430.